today we're going to be um, replacing this fly screen. Um, it's really important when you replace these fly screens that you check for spiders. So the best thing you can do is actually probably just brush it down like that. Um, just to make sure there's no, you're not going to get bitten by any spiders. Lift it out like that. So uh, I've set up a trestle table here. So I've got a flat surface to work on. Um, I've prepared uh, the fly screen here. I've got the uh, pair of scissors. I've got a tape measure, the new spline. Uh, I've got a screwdriver, a spline roller, and a knife ready to go. So the next part of this is actually going to be taking the old fly screen out. Get the screwdriver, pry it in the corner, and get the, the spline up. And once you've got it, some of it out, then you can be able to actually pull it out. And then we'll be able to get out the fly screen. Clean it out because it is really filthy. I've got uh, a large roll of fiberglass fly screen here. Normally, we, we talk about something along the lines of 75 to 100 mil over the each side. I definitely want to cut it longer than shorter because end of the day, I can I'll be trimming it once I finish. I've got my spline here. I'm going to be starting at one end, and you can use your spline roller to actually push it in. The advantage of using this as well, if you slip, it's a piece of plastic in your hand and you're not going to cut yourself. Might spin this around. <clears throat> there you go. Just put this last bit in. So once we've put this last piece in, which once you get the end of it, it actually goes in pretty easy. Okay, it's all ready to go. Now I've just got to cut this last piece of spline off. So with my stelling off, just be careful that you don't actually uh, cut your fiberglass once you do that. Um, now with your little screwdriver, you can just make sure that that's pushed it right down. All I've, got, all I've got to do now is just trim off the excess. When you do the trim, you want to make sure that when you cut it, it's actually not going to allow the whole thing to come out. You want to actually give it like a maybe five mil overlap. So you can actually just go like that. That way you can, get, you can line it up with that edge. And that's a nice finish there. All right, so I'm nearly finished here. The last couple of centimetres and done. All right, so I'm going to put the fly screen back. Um, so this is going to be great. It's going to not allow any flies or mozzies to come in. Um, if you want a hand doing this or being shown what to do on buying all the materials, just come and see us at Bunnings.